Hi, everyone. Congratulations on your acceptance to UC Davis and taking the time to attend this webinar today. Before we get started, I wanted to go over a few functionality about Zoom. The first you should know is as attendees, your video is off and you are muted. Please use the Q&A function to ask questions. This will help us keep a record of questions you ask. We do have a advising staff working behind the scenes to answer your question as well. Just so you know, attendees may see the question and answer, but you can answer question anonymously if you prefer. We will not be using the raise your hand function, and we prefer not to use the chat function to answer a question. However, as presenter, we may use the chat function to send out websites or group messages to all attendees. The focus of today's webinar is to help get you acclimated to the college and to the, your major. We'll also be sharing information on planning your first quarter and how to get ready for your advising appointment. We do plan to leave most of the time for Q&A at the end. And don't worry, we will post the webinar online in the next day or so. So remember, please use the Q&A to ask your question. So just to make sure you all know how to use the Q&A function, please share with us where you are currently watching this webinar from. All right, so I do see um, folks in California, North Cal, SoCal, great, and it looks like other folks from different area. Great, I'm glad that you all are able to um, use the Q&A, so definitely use this throughout the, the presentation for today. So let's get started. All right, so my name is Hong Dao. Um, I am one of the nine academic advisors from the Undergraduate Academic Programs Dean's Office. I have been in a Dean's Office for five years now. I am an alumni at UC Davis and got my undergrad degree in clinical nutrition. Our office supports all College of Ag and Environmental Sciences students with any question you may have, so please come visit us. Um, and I just wanna share a fun fact about me. Um, during this whole um, quarantine pandemic time, I've been cooking a lot and currently right now, I'm in the midst of doing a house renovation, house project, and I am looking forward to getting that done very soon. Hi everyone. Um, I'm Charlotte Cheney, and I'm the academic advisor for the Sustainable Environmental Design and Landscape Architecture majors. My office is in Hunt Hall, where our program is located, so, to, so it's easy for students to drop by and see me to ask questions or even just to say hi. I'm currently meeting students over Zoom from my home in Davis, but and I'm really looking forward to returning to my office in Hunt Hall um, this coming fall. Now that you have met our phases, we will go off camera for now so you can focus on the content of the presentation and we will come back on camera for the live Q&A. So let's get started. As a student in the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, you have a wide network of support, which includes major advisor, UAP Dean's Office, faculty advisor and peer advisor. So I will be going over each of these components um, for today. So for your major advisor, your major advisor can help you with major specific questions, such as what classes should I be taking? Or how do I get involved in a major? Or what type of internship or research opportunity are available in my major? They also know your, the faculty very well in the major, so they could definitely connect you to the faculty advisor if you're interested in the area and you want to get involved in. The UAP Dean's Office is a great place to get clarification on your college, university, and general education requirement and any other college policy and procedure. Especially, it could be very confusing coming in as a first-year student. This is totally normal and okay to ask questions because policy at your high school your community college or your previous institution can be different from UC Davis. The UAP Dean's Office is your first point of contact if you have any questions and you don't know where to start. So although the major advisor in UAP Dean's Office, we specialize in certain area, both major advisor and UAP Dean's Office do have some overlap where we can connect you, where we both can connect you with campus resources, 
and also provide you with class recommendation and introduce you to co-curricular opportunities so you could get involved in the major or in the college. Next, I wanted to talk about the faculty advisor. Faculty advisor are your professors, your instructor. Faculty advisor are a great resource if you're having difficulty in a class because they can provide you with additional support. They are great in helping you tailor your major to your interests. They are great also in helping you get connected to internship and research opportunity as well. Building rapport with your faculty is really important here at Davis, especially those who are interested in going to grad school, medical school, law school, faculty advisor can provide that letter of recommendation for you. Lastly, peer advisor. We have peer advisor in the dean's office and the major department. They are a great resource and they can provide you with an overview of what it, it is like being in that major and can provide you with class recommendation for the major. We're all here to help you navigate your academic journey. So don't be afraid to ask for help as you begin your education journey at UC Davis. Now, we're going to move on to major specific information about landscape architecture and sustainable environmental design. Hi everyone, this is Sharla again, the academic advisor for the landscape architecture and sustainable environmental design majors. So I'll talk about landscape architecture first. So the complex relationship between humans and our environment requires us to choose when and how to modify or conserve the land areas we use. Designated open spaces, parks, and modern neighborhoods are all products of the landscape architect. We strive to prepare students to be future leaders in landscape architecture. Our program offers students a well-rounded general education while at the same time providing the skills and technical expertise necessary for a professional career. The curriculum includes breadth in the humanities, social sciences, and environmental sciences to help students understand the complex relationships between human cultures and the built environment and natural systems. Our design philosophy present, presented throughout our coursework is to increase the quality of life through the development and preservation of landscape design and planning processes that are meaningful, relevant, and sustainable. The program is fully accredited by the American Society of Landscape Architects, which is the only organization sanctioned to grant such accreditations in the United States. Graduates are well prepared for both careers and postgraduate study. Landscape architect majors have entered careers in private landscape architectural firms and with public agencies and corporations. They have also entered graduate programs in a wide range of environmental and design related fields. Next slide. Sustainable environmental design students gain background in urban and environmental design, sustainable development theory and practice, and local government planning, community dynamics and organizations, green building, and selection and presentation of sustainable strategies. They also develop knowledge in their own areas of interest through their choice of restricted elective courses. Pre-approved SED upper division restricted electives are grouped into four categories, society, culture, and sustainability, e ecological systems and restoration, design and building, and government and planning. Sustainable environmental design graduates are well positioned for jobs in government, community organizations, education, and the private sector. Those wishing to pursue graduate education often seek advanced degrees in city and regional planning, landscape architecture, architecture, public policy, public administration, real estate, and other related fields. Next slide. So after completing Aggie 101, you'll be directed to the new student orientation page on our program's website, where you'll be able to read information that may answer many of your questions, such as sample fall academic plans, how long it will take you to graduate, and much more. Then schedule an appointment to see me. I'm setting aside the end of June and all of July to see all of my new students so that you'll be ready when it's time to register for fall classes in August. Email me if you have difficulty finding a time that works for you. 
If you have issues such as living in a different time zone or you're wor working full time and need to meet with me outside of the avail available scheduled hours, let me know right away and I, I will try to work something out to meet with you um, during a time that you um, are available. I'm really looking forward to meeting and getting to know all of you. Now that you have learned all about advising and how to get connected with your advisor, we encourage you to get involved with College of Ag. There are so many ways to do this during your time at UC Davis, not just your first quarter. The UAP Dean's Office offers fun opportunities for new students to engage with our staff and with your peers. Our, our Aggie Ambassador Program gives students a chance to participate in community service and outreach while promoting our college. In the, top left, on, um, in the top left photo, our Aggie ambassador are participating in outreach in high school, um, to um, outreach to high school students at the Future, Farmer, uh, Future Farmers of America event. Another great opportunity in the college is our manners organization, also known as multiculturalism in our culture, natural resources and related sciences organization where students can take part in promoting diversity in the field of our culture. In the Career Discovering Group program, new College of Act students can get a head start in exploring different career paths with the guidance of a campus mentor. All of these programs offer unique ways for new students to get involved with the college, and in some cases, even earn academic units. Contact the UAP Dean's Office to join these programs or for more information. Also, be on the lookout for our events in the fall. We do have events such as Coffee with the Dean, Ice Cream Social, Steady Break, and a Slice of Advising. There is free food, but this is an opportunity for you to meet other peers and get your questions answered. That concludes our webinar presentation, and we will spend the rest of our time for, for any Q&A. If you can stay for this portion, that's okay. We, you can find our contact information on the slide, so take a picture of the slide. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions throughout the summer. And then we're going to be spending the rest of our time. Um, so thank you so much for attending, and we will spend the rest of our time going over any Q&A that you will have.